um, today is Friday. I plan to make a um, samba, but um, instead of I'm making, I'm going to test my son uh, whether he knows how to make samba or not. Um, time to time, I have taught him, or he helped me during the process of making samba. So let me go test him and see whether he recall and he can make the samba by himself. Uh, samba would be very special because I'm going to use uh, most of the vegetable from homegrown um, from our own garden. This is the dal cabinet. What are these? Tor dal, orange dal, and Mysore dal. This is Mysore red split dal. And what is this? Mung dal. Mung dal. Okay, these are three dals normally for any dishes like a kira, karayal, or spinach, uh, stir fry, everything. I use all three. So, sambar also, he can use the same thing. So, what do you have to do first? Soak them. Okay. Uh, what's the measurement number use? One to one to one. Okay. Uh, what do you have to do now? Soak them after washing. So, you're going to wash and soak them. Okay? So, today I'm harvesting runner beans. I think this is enough for sambar today. I'm going to harvest this tomato. Yes? This is very, very spicy, very hot chili. Um, hey, my cucumber is doing so well. Can you see the cucumber? Look at my courgettes. I'm so proud about my courgettes. Uh, what a surprise. Can you imagine the courgettes that we've got here? My God, I'm going to harvest all of it. Look at the size of it. I can't even lift it. I will lift it. I never expect this many courgettes ready to harvest. I'm big. I'm so big. Okay, you can see the aubergines is um, tiny. I have harvested few aubergines. This is a this is a Asian uh, long aubergines that we use a lot in our cooking. So this is too tiny for samba. This is where I dry my my garlic, and the garlic is ready. I think three garlic will be enough. So impressed! I can see a pumpkin forming from the uh, from my pumpkin plants. A wine. I still got some seedlings, uh, onion seedlings. You will have a beautiful onion, which I should dry it like my garlic. Of course, um, we need potatoes for the sambar. So this this patch is potato patch. So we got all these vegetables that's from garden, our own garden that I grew. Um, so what I'm trying to tell to my son who's making the sambar today, that I want him to make feel so impressed that we can grow our own vegetable and um, we can cook from it and next time my son will come to the garden when I'm not around he will carry on doing what I'm doing that's what I'm trying to teach my children now he can grow own vegetable in the future and harvest them and cook a healthy food without um, uh, cook the food with chemical free vegetables. Did you see the harvesting? Yeah. Still how heavy are these oh, okay. Pretty heavy. Are you impressed with the vegetable? We got so many 
varieties that are more harvested. You can put the beans in a sambar as well. Put the loss at loss because we don't have many Indian ingredients for sambar today. I don't have a, a murungaka, I don't have a radish, we finish radish. So are you going to prepare the, the all the vegetables and then um, I'll come back and see how you do it. So can you do something with these vegetables? Maybe. Don't say maybe. Yes. Hmm? Okay. One moment. So these are the vegetables that we got from the garden and um, I've just been cutting them up and I've noticed that the, we still need a couple more ingredients or an additional, you know, like tomatoes and onions and things like that. So we'll show you what extra things we're using. And also I just wanted to point out that the courgette, even for how big it ended up being, you can still see from the inside of it, it's still quite young. So we could have let it grow some more. But um, first, the doll that was shown earlier, what you need to do is allow it to soak. And as you can see here, can you see? Yeah. Um, the doll has been soaking. All you have to really do is just put all of the vegetables here into the pan. Onions, garlic, chili here. We have the potatoes here. We have the courgette here. Tomatoes. The aubergine. Now. The beans. The carrots. And then, now what you want to do is take your spices and just, I think using this t small spoon, it's two teaspoonfuls of turmeric. Just scatter that across, I might put a little bit extra. And a uh, spoon's worth of this cumin speed seeds. Now we're gonna add salt and this time we're gonna add three t teaspoons. So now we can just add a little bit of this coconut oil, just a tiny amount. Transfer it onto the stove or the cooker. As you can see, the vegetables and the dal have cooked very well. The garnish, I've prepared these things. So what you need is chopped uh, onion, chopped uh, ginger, garlic and chilies, some curry leaf and dry chili here. What you'll also need is this kadaga and urad dal. And this is some homegrown coriander. Uh, additionally, uh, you'll need some sambar powder, curry powder, and um, chili powder here, just in case you want to make it spicier. And here, this is this is a sofatita, and also some ghee. One thing you have to have prepared beforehand is some. Pulley mixed in with boiling hot water. Okay. So, some I prepared earlier. First, you need to add some ghee. This is on simmer. So, first, we add a tablespoon of karaga, then, a tablespoon of uridal. And then, oh yeah, and also you want to add some jeera. Next, you add the curry leaf. Uh, 
and the dried chilli. And just mix that all in. We can add this, these ingredients, the garlic, ginger, and the chili. When it starts to smell really nice, then you can add the onion. So whilst this is currently cooking, I'm just going to add some sambar curry powder pot over here, teaspoon, three teaspoons. Now you can add some chili powder if you want. Now I'm going to add some of the soft tita to the garnish. So now you can add the garnish to the some creamed coconut which we're going to add as well to the mixture. So just mix that in there. We have some homegrown coriander here and we're just going to add some into the mixture as well. Good. So I'm looking at my son's uh, sambar. What? Sambar is looking very beautiful here. Yeah? As a mother, uh, children's food is always the best food. So I'm not going to taste my son's uh, sambar. I'm going to ask my daughter to do it. And I'm so impressed that that my son uh, made the sambar from homegrown. Most of the vegetable from homegrown. Uh, they're looking so beautiful. And but not as beautiful as us. <laughs> it's definitely more beautiful than you. Yeah. This is the sambar that I taught my son. I'm so impressed with my son. And that will be tasted by my daughter. And she's going to tell the sambar how it tastes. The song. I'm gonna try it. You didn't poison it, did you? Fresh them up. Okay, nice. Here we go. Three, two, one. Mmm. Tastes nice. I really like that you can taste the coriander in the background, bro. You know coriander is my favorite, right? It's really good. Why are, you, why are we not gonna try it? I'm not so much a samba, sap de parange. Okay. Mm. Come here. So nice. So nice. Extra good. Very proud of my son. Hmm? Never wise up.